Well, praise God. Amen. Welcome, everybody. Happy Sunday morning to you. Feliz Domingo por la mañana. Also, a happy 1st of March for you. Amen. So, praise God. We're, we're cruising and we're cruising. Amen. This is our third month already. So, yes. bienvenidos. Welcome, everybody. To the New Beginning Church of the Big Bear. And a church yeah. you can call home. If you don't have a church, you can adopt us. Amen. <laughs> well, we just want to teach you the word. That's all. We just want to yeah. love on you and share the word with you. I mean, the word of God with you. Bienvenidos a la iglesia del nuevo comienzo. Prepárense a recibir lo que el Señor tenga para usted. If he's got something for you, don't yeah. just come, you know, <laughs> and not get anything. That's right. Don't just come and leave as you came. Come and leave changed. Amen. Man, he touched me, you know. Yeah. He blessed me. He encouraged me. Or he corrected me. I was yeah. wrong about this. But, you know, thank you, Lord. You corrected me on this, you know. I need to change, you know. I oh, mean, we're his children, you know. Once in a while, we need to change our little diapers, you know. <laughs> God needs to change us, you know. Yeah. Or maybe we need to sit at the potter's and, and, and have him correct what needs to be corrected, amen. So guess what? We're not perfect. None of us are perfect. That's right. And I've told you this many times, but if you go back and you check all your Bible heroes, nobody God ever used or Jesus used was perfect. That's right. They all had sin. They had all had fault. Amen. But still, he saw the good in them. And that's the way we need to see. We need yeah. to see the love. You walk out with the love and compassion of God and see the good in people. Amen. Amen. And you know what? If, if you don't, if you, if you haven't, uh, um, if you haven't gotten this, <laughs> you need to get this. Yeah. We've all called the Ministry of Reconciliation. We've all are his ambassadors, his mouthpiece on earth. And guess what? We use this to communicate with people. Amen. Anywhere you go, there's going to be people. You can't get away from them. Amen? That's so, right. <laughs> you're ministering to people. For God so loved people, yes. the world, that he gave his only begotten son. Amen. Amen. He surrendered his son. And we're just as we're going to continue with surrendering to him. Amen? Yes. So, praise God. Before we get too excited, <laughs> let's uh, grab our Bibles and say it like a mean church. Yes. Amen? This, this is my Bible. Bible. Uh -huh. I am what it says I am. I, am. I have what it says I have. I, am. I can do what it says I can do. Today, I'll be taught the word of God. I boldly confess my mind is alert, my spirit is receptive, and I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. Amen? So, we're going to continue with surrendering all. Amen? So, praise God. Hallelujah. And uh, the quick thing... Uh, I told uh, last week I told you about the chicken and the uh, and the pig, <laughs> amen. And I won't repeat it to you, but basically the chicken and the, the chicken and the, and the pig are walking down this country road, and they saw a church, and they said, you know, uh, food, uh, a meal for charity. <laughs> and the pig and the chicken tells the pig, he said, hey, you know what? I, I got an idea. We ought to have uh, a breakfast, uh, you know, uh, ham and eggs, <laughs> and. Uh, the pig thinks about it and says, well, that sounds good, you know, he says, but in your case, you don't want to get involved. In my case, I, I'll be committed. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. That means you've got to surrender all. It means you've got to give your life. Yeah. So we need to, on a daily basis, give our lives to him. Yeah. And that's what surrender yeah. is all about, is, yeah. is being committed. Let me, let me read it to you the way I wrote it here. But surrender all. Surrender all to Jesus. Being yeah. committed. Amen. Uh, no holding back, no excuses, no distractions. Amen? And uh, we're going to read a couple of scriptures, but no holding back this new year. No holding back on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. It's just being totally surrendered to Him. Yes. Amen? You go before Him on a daily basis, first of all, Him. And just say, you know, the Lord has surrender all. And I just wanted to say I love you. I wanted to say thank you for everything. Amen? <coughs> so praise God. Who committed, surrendered totally to him. Amen. And uh, we've been talking about opening the year with a bang, excitement, enthusiasm, you know, uh, being stirred up. Nobody's going to do it for you. you got to do it right. yourself. Not only <laughs> once a year, but every day. Amen. Yeah. So praise God. And let's look at a couple of scriptures. Uh, first of all, let's go uh, Philippians uh, chapter 3 and verse 13. I think I marked it here. We got a trip in here somewhere. 
So fire detector, your battery needs changing. Oh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, mine starts at verse uh, 12. It says, High calling of God, verse 12. Not as though I had already attained, either uh, were already perfect, but what uh, I follow after, if that I may apprehend that for which also I am apprehended for uh, of Christ Jesus. And verse 13 is the one where he's looking at, but it says, Brethren, I count now myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, what? Forgetting. forgetting the things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before me. And verse 14 is, I press towards a mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Yeah. So I press daily. I press Amen. daily. Amen. I'm pressing uh, with him daily to reach that goal. Amen. I'm pressing daily. And, and also, I'm forgetting the past. Another one, and, and all these scriptures we know already, but you know what? That's okay. Let's go to First Peter 5, 7, and 8. We know all these, but let's read it together. Amen. Those of you that are uh, joining us by audio video, uh, prepare the chest to receive. Amen. Hopefully, you have your Bible. Open your Bible. Some of us always say, you know, some people come and tell me, uh, God never talks to me. Well, open your Bible. He wants to yes. talk to you every day. Amen? Amen. And he'll talk to you on a daily basis. Hallelujah. Praise God. So, 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 7 and 8. Amen? And it says what? Cast all, you, cast all your care upon him, for he careth for you. And then he tells us also, he says, verse 8, Be sober and be vigilant, vigilant because the adversary of the devil... As a roaring lion walk around seeking who he may devour. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. So, I just want to, and I've told you this before also, you know, cast all your cares on him daily. Mm -hmm. You know, thank God, <laughs> the place you live, where, wherever you happen to live, you have a dumpster where you go and dump all your trash. <laughs> Aren't you glad? <laughs> That your house is not full of trash. Oh, yeah. Thank God once a week oh, you can, or on a daily basis, I don't know how much trash you collect, but on a daily basis you can empty your trash can oh. and take them out to the dumpster and empty your house. Mm -hmm. So he's telling us, I've got you on this mission, and you cannot fulfill this mission unless you empty yourself and cast all those cares on me because I care for you. Amen. So don't wait till you get all full and yeah. you can't go anymore. Oh, just cast it on him. Mm -hmm. Just like you take it out to the dumpster, cast it on him. And he says, we, this needs to be done. It's a, it's a must thing. It's a must do thing. We must do it. Otherwise, you're carrying heavy stuff. Mm -hmm. You're carrying your past. You're carrying sin. You're carrying things that you're not made to carry. That's right. Empty yourself mm -hmm. and give it to him. Amen? Mm -hmm. So, Man, this is a... Uh, a, 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 a good a good example. Mm -hmm. Amen. So why 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 is your house so full of trash when you could have taken it out to the dumpster mm -hmm. and empty it once a week? But on a daily basis, we can go to God mm -hmm. and empty ourselves. Yes. Amen. As often as needed, mm -hmm. not just on a daily basis, but as right. often as needed. Amen. Go to Him, and we're to go and glow and grow for Him. Amen. Growing all the time for him. Amen. Maturing in the word of God. Amen. Because yes. the adversary, the devil, is going around seeking who he may devour. So, you know, as we grow in him, we learn to use the right words. Because he's following. He ain't following the world. He's got the world. He's following Christians. Amen. Yeah. What's coming out of your mouth? Mm. Huh? Because whatever comes out of your mouth, good or bad. Yes. If it's bad, you're opening the door for the enemy to come in. Mm -hmm. And you know what? When you open the door, he's going to come in. Yeah. So we got to be careful to say the right things. Amen? Yeah. So if we're going to surrender ourselves to him, uh, we got to watch what we say. Yeah. Amen? So we've already read this. I'm not going to read it again. But uh, mm -hmm. our text was Luke 14, uh, 15 through 24, which was talking about the, the great feast. Amen? And we found out that this feast, the host of the feast is God. The feast is uh, 
the heavenly feast, feast of salvation. The day of the great feast comes and no one wants to take time to go. They all have their excuses. They rejected his invitation to the great feast. Amen. He tells us in Hebrews 10, 24, 25. And let's go there. Let's read it together. Hebrews 10, 24, 25. 24, 25. And let us consider one another to provoke unto love and to good work, works. And 25, not forsaking the assembly of ourselves together as the matter of some is, but exhorting one another and such and so much the more as ye see the day approaching. Amen. Amen. The day of Jesus coming back. Yes. Okay. And so many are doing. Amen. So, and then we also read 2 Timothy 3, chapter 3, verses 1 through 7. You can write these down, read them for yourselves. Amen. But in the last days, it's the last days now. And so many things are happening. Yes. There's not too much for God, for God but there's love for the world. Amen. Yeah. Love for money. Love for the wrong things. Amen. Yeah. So they were all, he invited, he had invited, but they had excuses. They rejected the invitation of the great feast. They were blessed. They were successful. They were rich. They were happy. And, but they didn't make time to go. Oh. Amen. They had excuses. So what's our distraction nowadays? Because the enemy is still busy oh, yeah. trying to distract people from getting to fulfill what God has called them to do. Yeah. Amen. Forsaking the assembling of ourselves together. Amen. So we have to be careful. They were ungrateful, unappreciative, mm -hmm. unthankful, showed no gratitude at all. No more. Amen. So we need to Amen. remember this. Jesus paid the price for our salvation. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, uh, well, let's go there. Romans 6.23, that's just one of them. Romans 6.23, chapter 6 and verse 23. We, we, don't, we don't go there much. But we're going to use the Bible, so that's part of, that's the word of God. 6.23 says what? For the wages of sin is what? Death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus. Also, John tells us in John 14.6 that there's only one way to God. Yes, yes. And that's through Jesus. Mm -hmm. he, says, he says, I am the truth. I am the way, the truth, and the life. Nobody goes to God except through me. Mm -hmm. Amen. So we need to remember this. You know what? If you're in Romans there, just go back a, 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 few, uh, a few pages and see what 323 says. Oh, boy. So there you go. Amen. Mm -hmm. 323 says. For all. No. Yes, for all have sinned and come what? Short of the glory of God. Amen. So nobody's perfect. Amen. We all come short. But you know what? Thank God. Thank God for mercy. <laughs> Praise God. Thank you, Lord. So salvation is free. Receive it. No excuses. Amen. He also tells John 3, 16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son. Amen. Have, you have an invitation to heaven. We need to accept it. First John 1, 9 says, If you confess, if you confess, yeah. not somebody else, but you need to confess yourself mm -hmm. and receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior. <laughs> Amen. Then you can have eternal life. Mm -hmm. Amen. Praise God. And you're a new person in Christ. St. Corinthians tells us you're, you're a new creature in Christ now. Yes. So don't let the past people or distractions hold you back. Mm -hmm. you got to press on with him. Hallelujah. I like that word. Press on. Press on. Press on. <laughs> After salvation comes, commit a life of servanthood to him. Mm -hmm. Say, Lord, I hear I am. Use me. You know why he don't use you? Because you don't step out. <laughs> we need to step out in faith. Mm -hmm. Amen. That we walk by faith, not by not sight. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. We need to step out. Peter says, hey, that's Jesus walking on water. He said, well, we can't walk on water, so I, I can go over there. He says, no, I want to come where you are. Jesus says, come. That's all it took. He says, come. Mm -hmm. Now, my part is step out in faith. <laughs> on a daily basis, mm -hmm. we got to step out in faith. Amen. No matter what. If he says, do it, do it. Amen. Only thing holding you back is you. And we're going to be talking about fear because that's one of the biggest distractions. Mm -hmm. Fear. Mm -hmm. False evidence appearing real instead of faith. Stepping out in faith. Amen. Amen. We got to step in faith knowing that we can do 
some things through Christ. All things. All right. We can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. I'm happy. I'm excited. <laughs> the host has invited all to the feast, but we need to accept. We need to accept it. We cannot hold back. Amen. We got to accept what heaven's head, what heaven has for us. Excuses keep many from accepting their invitation. Don't be one of them. Amen. Don't let uh, family, friends, jobs, careers, uh, greed, pride, laziness <laughs> hold you back. <laughs> Amen. I'm, I'm talking about me. <laughs> no more excuses. We got to step step out. Amen. We must reject sin and accept his invitation. So, amen. So praise God. So here we go. Let go and let God. Amen. <laughs> let go of all excuses. Uh -huh. No holding back. Total surrender to Him. Yeah. Give your all to God. Amen. I surrender all. Amen. amen. I surrender all. When I surrender all, I commit to you, Lord. Yes. Amen. When I commit, I will complete what He's called me to do. Yes. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. You see, I wrote, I wrote something here. It says, let God bring you into all he wants you to do. Yeah, He's got something for you. You know, those of you that are listening, those of you that are watching, <laughs> God has something for you. I don't care who told you what. So-and-so told you he can't use you anymore, but he can. Yes. Amen. He didn't put you here to be an accident. He didn't put right. you here just to lay back. That's he right. put you here to do something. He put you on a mission, and he's got plans for you. No plans, of, no, no plans of his include defeat. Mm -hmm. Only succeed. Amen. Amen. But you have to get the word in so that you know what the word says so no one else can distract you from this. Amen. And you're going to press on with him. Amen. You're going to commit. Yes. Listen, listen to what I put here. I wrote here. Equip to complete uh -huh. all he's called us to do. So whatever he's called you to do, you're going to complete. Amen? Equip to complete. Let's not get too busy and forget what we're to do or whose we are or who we are in him. Yes. Amen? So if we let ourselves get too busy, like Martha, you know, <laughs> not even recognize the master's here. Not even recognize the master's trying to get a hold of you. Amen. And if your phone's ringing. And you look at it and you say, oh, it's God. <laughs> I can't talk right now. Come on now. <laughs> you got to pick it up. Say, hey, he's trying to minister to you. He's trying to tell you something. He's trying to use you, but you're not wanting to be used. Amen. The parts, the bad, the, the bad part's not on him. Yeah. The bad part is us right. not receiving. Yeah. The bad part is us not stepping out. Uh -huh. Amen. Yeah. He wants to do his part. He's already done his part. Yeah. We need to do our part. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Your phone's ringing. Answer it. Amen. Your phone's <laughs> ringing. Answer it. Your doorbell's ringing. Answer it. Oh, God. It's him, you know. Oh, yeah, Amen. You know. <laughs> well, I'm not going to go there. <laughs> Let's not get too busy like Martha and forget about the master mm. is there. And we didn't even acknowledge him. Yes. We didn't even have time for him. Mm -hmm. Amen. And then he picked somebody else, and now we're jealous. Mm -hmm. Said, so, well, Lord, you never picked me. How come you picked her? How come you picked him? Uh -huh. You never picked me. <laughs> yeah, like the guy on the roof, you know, he, God said, pray, God send me help. It's flooded. I can't get out of here. If you don't send any help, I'm going to die. Well, he sent a helicopter, he sent a boat. He said, well, <laughs> that's not what he was expecting. So are you going to die? <laughs> so you're going to go see him faster, quicker. <laughs> Be grateful for all he's done for you. Yeah. No more excuses. Yeah. Renounce sin and serve God. Amen. God has made a way for you. We have to let go and let God guide and provide. And he will. Yes. Amen. When you're stepping out in faith, you know he's guiding you and he's providing for you. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> I don't care who says what. I don't care what the world says. I don't care what bad news is going around. <laughs> you know, if you're going to walk in fear, you're just going to stay put and you're going to do nothing. You're mm -hmm. going to step out in, in faith and do for him. Amen. So he's going to 
guide and provide. God's called you to do something, so step out in faith. Like we said, it just shall walk by faith, 2 Corinthians uh, 5, 7. Just do it. Amen? I can do all things through Christ who strengthens yes. me. No Amen. excuses. Just trust him. We just put this up here. We've been talking about this. Bloom wherever God has you. Amen. But this is not where I want to be. <laughs> well, just like if Peter and Paul would have had a, 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 a fit because he was in prison. Oh, my goodness. He said, well, I'm just close. I'm not. I'm not going. I don't want to be used. Well, he's not going to use you. But he was in prison, but the prison didn't have him. Yeah. And he was committed to God. Uh -huh. And God used him to write two-thirds of the New Testament. Yeah. So, right hey, when you open up, God can oh, use you. Yeah. When you step yeah. out in faith, God can use you. Yeah. So oh, yeah. it doesn't go by how tall you are, how short you are, or how educated <laughs> you are. When you have a call, you've got a call. Yeah. Yeah. And he's going to use you. But you got to just... Step out in faith and be yes. committed to whatever he's called you to do. Yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. Come on now, I'm preaching better yeah. than amen to me. <laughs> <laughs> so let go and let God. It motivates us to do what? To receive from him, to yes. serve him, yes. to be used of him, yes. to be his witnesses, to be to complete our mission. Amen. To be heaven bound. This is amen. not my home. Heaven, this earth is not my home. Heaven is my home. Mm -hmm. I'm just passing through. Yeah. And I'm going to rejoice and be stirred up and be excited. Amen. And be a blessing. He blesses you to be a blessing. It's not just for you to, to hog it up. <laughs> he blesses you so that you can be a blessing. He gives you so that you can give. And you know yeah. when you give, it keeps coming. Oh, yeah. It says give and it shall be given unto you. <laughs> Good measure, press down, shaking together, and running over. Yeah. Shall men give unto your bosom. Amen. Yeah. So praise God. Woo, hallelujah. <laughs> oh, Listen man. to this. Cast all and give all. Amen. Cast all, give all. Mm. Empty yourself of the distractions. Empty yourself of the cares. Mm. Whatever it is, the enemy is trying to use you. And you know, sometimes, like I said, we open our mouth. And we let people know mm -hmm. all the bad things happening to us. Oh, boy. And the enemy is using it. Yeah. The enemy is listening and he's using it against you. Mm -hmm. Because you're sowing negative seed. Mm -hmm. You're sowing negative things in your life. Yeah. So the best thing to do is say, mm, zip the lip and don't say it. Mm -hmm. As bad as you want to say it, well, I just have to give them a piece of what I had. Well, that's fine, but it's coming back to you. Yeah. Amen. So hold it. Just like if Jesus would have told him what he wanted to say, mm. but he didn't. Mm -hmm. He held back. Guard your words. Guard your words. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. We already read Philippians 3, 13 and uh, 14. But uh, it's forgiving the things that are behind. Yeah. You know, same thing's going to happen to us that happened to Lot's wife when she looked back. Oh. She looked at the past. Mm. He walked out of the city, Sodom and Gomorrah, but she had to look back. Mm -hmm. Says, don't look back. Yeah. Don't let the past hold you back. Amen. She turned, and guess what? She was stuck in the past. No oh, boy. She got stuck there, and we need to get unstuck from the mm -hmm. past and move on. This is a new year, yes. a new month. Yes. Happy March to all those of you listening Amen. and uh, watching. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. Praise God. Mm -hmm. So the day of the great feast comes, and guess what? They don't take time to go. Mm -hmm. They all had excuses. Yeah. So here we go. First one says, I have just bought a field and I want to inspect it. Yep. Poor business to buy property and then you go to inspect. Yeah. And then you buy something, some property which you have not even seen. Uh -huh. How do you know <laughs> where this thing is at? Mm -hmm. You may not be able to get to it. Yeah. Amen. Inspect uh -huh. before you buy. Yeah. A sorry excuse. <laughs> Amen. And plus, you didn't even go to God about it. Yeah. <laughs> Second one said, I have just bought five pair of oxen and I want to go out and try them. Oh, well, <coughs> try before you buy. Mm. Amen. I want to get in the car. <laughs> Whatever I'm buying, I want to take it out for a ride and check it yeah. out, you know, before I go buy it, put some money into it. Amen. <laughs> 
So try it before you buy. Could be old, could be worthless, could be incapable of doing the job you want it to do. Uh -huh. Amen. <laughs> so here's a lame excuse. And number three says, I have just been married, I have just gotten married. Oh, boy. And I cannot come. Mm -mm. He could have left his wife uh. just for a short time, yeah. for a few hours, and go, like he did on many occasions when he says, Hey, I need to go out with the boys. <laughs> <laughs> I need to go to the game. Well, I need to do whatever the case may be. And in many occasions, left her to go. But in this occasion, he says, well, I can't go. I just got married. Yeah. Amen. So this is the worst excuse. <laughs> What's your excuse? Think of the many times we've had made excuses to God. Lord, I'd love to, but. But how many excuses do you think he's heard all the years? I think. He's heard them all. Amen. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> Moses, you picked the wrong person. Oh, boy. I don't talk too well. Mm -hmm. I stutter. We have excuses. Come on now. Oh, yeah. I can't do it. I don't have the proper education. <laughs> I failed in everything I do. Come on now. Amen. Everything I put my hands oh, to is God. just falls apart. I failed at everything I do. Come on now. Mm. <laughs> Whatever yours is, I know <laughs> you've got one. No. <laughs> I fail all the time. Oh, no. I'm too busy. Oh. I hate church. I don't, know where, I don't know where I got these from. I hate church. Oh, I hate my pastors. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Come on. Oh. No amens. <laughs> Hey, guess what? My church on TV, so I'll just watch it on TV. Oh, God. <laughs> that's happening a lot, you know? I'll just watch it on TV. Maybe that's the future. I don't know. But it says not to forsake the assembly of yourselves together. Amen. Amen. I'll watch it on TV, or maybe I'll watch it on my cell phone, you know? <laughs> huh. Ooh, hallelujah, what happened? <laughs> we must turn loose of the but God excuses, amen? <laughs> or whatever holds us back or whatever keeps us from receiving yeah. and enjoying all God has for us. Yeah. Jesus paid the price. Yes, he did. He has given us this free gift of salvation. Mm -hmm. So we need to step out of faith, get off your como se llama, mm -hmm. and get busy for God. Yes. Amen. Or just go to serve. You know, Jesus came to serve, not to be served. That's right. He set the greatest examples. Amen. Yeah. And we're to imitate him. Yeah. Amen. So no, the Bible says we can do all things all through things. Christ who strengthens us. Amen. Him first. Yes. He strengthens us yes. and we go out and do. Amen. Amen. Step out in faith and do what he's called us to do. Yes. If we don't step out, we don't we don't we don't do anything. Mm. Amen. So whatever he's called you to do, we're not to listen, don't compare to somebody else. That's right. And don't compete with nobody else. That's right. Amen. You just do what God tells you to do. Yes. Amen. So praise God. We use this yes. example all the time, but big or small, do it as unto him. Amen. And not for people. We're God pleasers, not man pleasers. Amen. So just do it unto him. Lord, you want me to do this? I will. Smile at that person over there. Give him a great big smile. <coughs> Amen. Maybe you just have a smile. <laughs> but guess what? Maybe that person says, if nobody smiles at me right now, I'll just blow my head off. Hmm. It happens. You never know. How many testimonies you've heard of some people say, I need to hear from you, Lord, or else. Mm -hmm. This is it. Nobody yes. cares about me. Nobody gives anything about me. Mm. But I need to hear from you. And guess what? Yeah. <laughs> they hear from God. Amen. Amen. They hear from God. So praise God. And you are that person. Yes. Big or small, you know what? That's a big thing. Mm -hmm. Keeping somebody from taking a lie. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because God wanted to use them. God wanted to reach them. And we were too busy <laughs> sitting and doing yeah. nothing. Amen. So we need to get involved. It's time to step out yes. of your boat. It's time to get out of your uh, comfort zone. Yeah. On this new year, on a daily basis, and step out and do only Him. First, you meet with Him. 
Get yourself straight. Get yourself right. And go out. Amen. Amen. You don't want to step out without him. Without him, you're no match to the enemy. That's right. It's a spiritual battle on a daily basis. If you're not in the word, you're no match to the devil Amen. or the demonic world. Mm -hmm. Amen. But we can do all things through him. Yes. So at the start of the new year, we want to uh, step out in faith. Amen. Get back in what he's called us to do. Never mm -hmm. forsake the calling that you have on your life. Amen. Huh. Hallelujah. Praise God. Remember, we can do all things through him. All things. Hallelujah. In order to do that, we have to expose and turn loose of the but God excuses mm -hmm. that are holding us back. Amen. And the number one excuse we're going to talk about, we will already mention it, is fear. Mm. The anxieties, the dreads, the uh, panics, the alerts that come, you know. And if you don't have God in your life first, you're going to panic. You're going to be anxious. Mm -hmm. You're going to have anxiety. You're going to have worries. You, all these fears are just going to bring you down. It says you can't do anything. Uh -huh. It's too much for you. Mm -hmm. Amen. Remember, part-time Christians no match to a full-time devil. That's right. And he's going to put all kinds of things mm -hmm. on you if you allow it. Yes. Remember that you have authority. You have yes. the authority. Greater is he that's in you yes. than he that is in the world. Yes. Amen. Amen. So praise God. Many times we look for the approval of men and not God. Mm. Notice that many believe on the Lord yeah. Jesus Christ. They wouldn't admit it. Uh -huh. Amen. To anyone but their fear. We must stand for Jesus amongst the people we meet. Yeah. And we will stand up. He will stand up for us before all. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. You know, as you step Hallelujah. out, no, <laughs> it's hell out there without Amen. God. Amen. You better believe it. It's hell out there without God. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it won't take you long to find out <laughs> how hard it is oh, without man. Him. But with Him, we can do all things. All Amen. Things. Praise God. Be a God pleaser and not a man pleaser. Right. If we're going to enter into His blessings of God, we yes. must get rid of fear. Yes. The first but God excuse oh. has to be exposed and overcome is fear. Yeah. of being rejected by people. Yeah. You know, we want to please people. You know, God will provide all your needs. Mm -hmm. Promotion comes from Him. Favor comes from Him. Grace comes from Him. Amen. Yeah. So make a decision to serve God even if people talk about you. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Call your names and say things about you. Amen. It's okay. It's all right. Mm -hmm. Just think if Jesus would have just gave up and says, you know, hey, I don't need this. I don't have to put up with this mm -hmm. and just gave back. He was committed. Yes, he what did. he promised the Father, he says, I'm mm -hmm. going to complete my mission. Mm -hmm. Lord, I'm going to complete my mission. I can do all things through you. Yes. Amen. On a daily basis. Amen. Amen. I'm going to fulfill what you've called me to do. The I ones know. that laugh at you, ridicule you, yeah, are the very ones that will be calling for help. <laughs> I've had, I've had people come and, and ask for prayer, you know, before they used to make fun of me. Mm -hmm. Or you're one of those uh, Jesus guys, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When things are going smooth, they're okay. When things yeah. are going rough, they come look you up. Amen. That's okay. Don't turn them back. Mm -hmm. Because they're opening a door for you mm -hmm. to share Jesus, to sow that seed of salvation in them. Amen. Yes. And even they may not give their lives to Christ right then, but guess what? You sow the seed of salvation. Yeah. And now God's going to see to it that's going to be watered by somebody else. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be watered by somebody else until he gives the increase mm -hmm. and salvation comes. You know, but that seed was sown and you had the opportunity yeah. for that person that didn't care for you, talked uh, about you, said things about you, yours. but they came to you mm -hmm. when they needed him. And you sow that seed. Amen. You may lead them right then, or you may just sow that seed. It doesn't matter. Still, you were open and not judging them. You were letting the love and compassion of God flow through you. Mm -hmm. Amen. 
Ooh, hallelujah. Come on now. Amen. Never be afraid. Amen. Know that Christ is with you. Yeah. Amen. Know that he has called, has a calling and divine destiny for you. Yes. Amen. Never fear them. Love them. Ooh, hallelujah. Yeah, <laughs> the, the power of love is the most powerful force there is because God is love. Yes. Amen. Yes. <laughs> First Peter 4 and 8 says, but anyone who does not uh, love does not know God, for God is love. Yeah. Knowing God is a good thing. Yes. God is love. Amen. And we're to Amen. be imitators of Christ in Philippians, uh, Ephesians 5, chapter 5, verse 1 and 2, talks about being, um, let's go there, let's read it. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm going to read it to you from the uh, Amplified, because the King James says it another way. So let's read it. Let's read it together. Amen. I'm excited. Yes. I have decided to follow Jesus yes. on a daily basis. Don't sing it once a year, you know. Say, oh, it's a new year, so i got to sing that song. Mm -hmm. But on a daily basis, Lord, I've decided to follow you. <laughs> mm -hmm. Chapter 5 and verse 1 and 2. Okay, here we go. Uh, the King James says, But ye therefore followers of God as dear children. Verse 2 says, And walk in love as Christ also has loved us and has given himself for us, an offering and a sacrifice to God for a sweet-smelling savor. <coughs> and, <coughs> excuse me, the Amplified says, Therefore be imitators of God. Uh -huh. Amen. Be imitators of God. Mm -hmm. You know, when you start growing in him, you start changing your ways, your words, your actions. Be careful. And in the Amplified, it says, copy him and follow his example. Mm. Amen? So your vocabulary is going to change. Change to what the Word of God says mm. and not what the world says. Yeah. We're God-pleasers, God-imitators, uh -huh. and not world-imitators. Amen? As we, beloved children, imitate their... It says, as well, beloved children, imitate their fathers. Their father, excuse me. In verse 2, and walk in love, esteeming and delighting in one another. As Christ loved us and gave himself up for us, mm -hmm. as a slain offering <clears throat> and sacrifice to God for you, so that <clears throat> it became a sweet fragrance. Mm -hmm. Amen. So be his imitators. You know, if you know of somebody that says call themselves Christians mm -hmm. and they're doing the wrong things and saying the wrong things, just let him know God loves you. Yeah. I say, if you love God, you know, you wouldn't be saying those things or speaking that way. Amen. <clears throat> Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank we all know somebody. Yes. So we're to imitate him. Amen. Amen. And when you get the word of God in you, it's going to clean you up. Lord. Amen. It's going gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna to clean you up. <laughs> Woo, hallelujah. <clears throat> So we're to stand for him. Don't be afraid of what others think or say or do. When the Holy Spirit tells us to do something, don't hesitate. Just do it. Do it as unto him. Yeah. And you know, some people are jealous and some people are going to say, mm -hmm. you're only doing it to impress. You're only doing it for this, for that, whatever. No, I'm doing it because I love him. And I'm going to imitate him because Jesus served. I'm going to serve. And nobody else stood up. Nobody else raised their hand. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do it. I'll do it unto God. Amen. 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 So praise God. Woo All right. Hallelujah. Amen. Allow God to use you. Be available. Be a world changer. Woo. Yeah. Praise God. <laughs> Be a world changer on a daily <coughs> basis. You know, you change somebody's life. They used to be going <coughs> for the world. Now they're going for God. Yeah. And they're going to go and do the same. Yeah. And we bring more souls into the kingdom of God. Yes. Amen. And Lord, I give you all the praise. Jesus already paid the price. Yes, he did. We're just doing, fulfilling his mission, his work on yeah. earth. He's the head, we're the body. Mm -hmm. And he's going to use his body to fulfill his plan. Yes. Amen. So praise yes. God. And guess what? Thank you, Lord. I'm a world changer. Yes. 
You didn't call yourself the same thing. I'm a world changer, praise God, for God. Yes, thank you, Lord. I couldn't do it without Him. Right. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> when we step out in obedience to God, we will become the answer to somebody's prayer. Yes. Jesus. Somebody's prayer. Mm -hmm. Guess who he's going to use to answer the prayer? Mm -hmm. He's going to use you. Yeah. He says, go see this person. But I don't go that way. Mm -hmm. I don't live that way. Mm -hmm. Just be obedient and step out and do what he's called you to do. Yeah. You're going to find out that you will be answered to somebody's prayer. Yeah. You know when you get to heaven, you may not ever know this. Or the seeds you've sown. Or the things you did for God. You may never see the results. But when you get to heaven, you're going to have all these people walk up to you and say, Because of you, I made it here. Amen. Hallelujah. Ooh, ain't that something? Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. I want to be a God changer. A world changer. <laughs> to love is to serve. To serve is to love. Amen. If we don't have that, we can put that down on a daily basis. To love is to serve, and to serve is to love. The opposite of fear is faith. Believers live by faith. Amen. You can write these down. I'll give you a couple of scriptures here. In Mark eleven twenty two, it says, "Have faith in God, or have God kind of faith." Romans one seventeen says, "The just shall live by faith." Amen. Amen. And Second Corinthians five seven says, "For we walk by faith and not by sight." Amen. 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 <laughs> Hallelujah. The New Living Translation says, "For we live by believing and not by seeing." Mm -hmm. Amen. So we're to be hearers and doers of His word, and we believe His word. Amen. And step out in faith and walk in faith. Amen. Mm -hmm. And whoo, Hallelujah. Praise God. If we're to enter into his full blessing, we must let go of the number one but excuse, which Amen. is fear. Second Timothy 1 7, and we're close with this. For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but a power of love and of a sound mind. Amen. Amen. The New Living Translation says, For God has not given us a spirit of fear and timidity, but a power of love and a self discipline strength of mind. Mm. Amen. So praise God. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Begin this new year and every day by stepping out in faith yes. and not fear. Amen. Amen. Every day, stepping out in faith and not fear. Amen. For he's not given us a spirit of fear, but a power of love in our sound mind. Amen. Amen. So praise God. Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. So, and in closing, <laughs> Those of you that are listening by audio or watching by media, don't want to close until we let you know God loves you and we love you. Mm -hmm. Amen. Give you an opportunity if you haven't accepted Christ this new year. Amen. Now's the time for you. All you have to do is say, Lord, I sin against you. I repent. Come into my life. Be my Lord and Savior. Yes. Amen. And start changing. Be a world changer. God has called you to be. Mm -hmm. Amen. Be a world changer for God. Amen. Amen. Find you a Bible-based church where they preach the word of God. Mm -hmm. Not no new thing. Mm -hmm. Amen. It's about the word of God. It's about him. Amen. Get you a Bible. Start reading the word. Getting the word in you. So your faith is built. So when you step out, step out in faith. And know Amen. what the word of God says. Amen. Amen. So praise God. Lord, Thank you, Lord. Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. If you need healing in your body, just touch your body right now and just say, Father, in the name of Jesus, your word says that by Jesus stripes I am healed. Yes. So, Father, I just thank you. Touch him, Lord, from the crown of their head to the soles of their feet. Whatever it is they need, Father, touch and heal their bodies, Lord. Amen. As well as here, Father. We thank you, Father. We're healed because of the stripes, by stripes of Jesus we need. Yes. And we thank you and give you all praise, glory, and honor. Amen. 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 So, guess what? This is the day the Lord has made. It says rejoice and be glad in it. Yes. And step out in faith. Praise God. Amen. Amen.